What up, you? For today's video, we're the full pseudo bug Pokemon team. Ryan, this one is for you. So this team is going to be made up of Pokemon that could possibly be bug type Pokemon, but don't have the bug typing. Now I came up with six different typings of all, including bug Pokemon, and I really hope you enjoy. If you aren't your own custom theme team or Pokemon sweep, you can check me out on Patreon. Dot com slash pip9. The link's in the description of the video, tier 2 and above. Today, I've got three battles to use starring this beautiful buggy team, and I really hope you enjoy. Now, I did the best job I could with new bug typings with the limited decks, and obviously, I wasn't going to be repeating typings, right? Now, the first battle here, this one was against Kamari, and we've got a Hatterene lead here. I've got my Farling, so I always thought that Farlings looked like a bug type. So, I've got Farlings down as a bug and fighting type. Now it gets bug moves, so we got first impression, mega horn, endure, and reversal. Now this set, obviously what I wanted to do too, if you're actually new to this style of video, I actually want to complete every single typing, and I also want to give the uh, Pokemon a, say for example here, we've got a bug, pseudo bug team, I want to try and give them bug moves as well, and try and use those bug moves as much as humanly possible, right? So we got a, a Calm Mind Hatterene going for that uh, mega horn, then the first impression, doesn't really do too much damage, and now the Hatterene is going to be eating a berry and getting lots of health back there. I'm thinking they're running something like, I'd say max health and max defense, right? So here comes the Psychic, and Phalanx is going to get shredded in one shot. Nothing much I could do about that. But definitely looks like a bug-type Pokemon to me, like a big old caterpillar. Now, the next Pokemon here I've always thought was a bug-type looking was Drapion. So we got Sword Dance, Cross Poison, Pin Missile as the bug move, and we've also got Ice Fang here as well. Now, I've got the King Truck as the item. I've also got the Sniper ability as the ability there too. So what I wanted to do is firstly get rid of this Hatterene. I go for the X Scissor. Not the X Scissor, I'm sorry, the Cross Poison, and I get a Fleet Trotter. I'm getting my bug move mixed up. So finishing off with the Disrespect Pin Missile, and Hatterene is going to be going down. That felt good taking Hatterene without the Pin Missile, right? Now, the next Pokemon to come out here is Puck, and that is the Ribbon B. Now, Drapion is a very good matchup for Ribbon B, and what I'm going to be doing right is going for a Cross Poison here. I thought this would take it out in one shot, and it did. I'm like, wow, Aliff, this is going to give me a rare opportunity to take a Ribbon B out with a Pin Missile Drapion. Not very effective, disrespect KO. So go after that Pin Missile, right? It does a little bit of damage, but man, it ain't really doing too much at all because I only hit three times and River V is going to live and take me out. You people in the comment section are going to roast me for this one. I tried, people. I tried for the disrespect Pin Missile Bug Drapion KO, but it failed. Man, I wish it would have worked. Okay, so the next Pokemon we got is the Gastron here. Now, Gastron, you really can't do too much with because it's only got one bug type move in its uh, infestation. Now, I know that Gastron is not quite a bug. It's a slug, but that was the closest thing that I could come up with with six individual new typings. So once again, if there is a typing you think could actually fit on this team that I haven't thought of, Please let me know. Remember, we've got bug and fighting already, right? We've got uh, the poison and fighting. Now we've got water and bug. Now, another Pokemon that could have actually fitted onto this team could be Naga Nardel too. But I had another Pokemon as bug and dragon. You might be able to guess what it is. Now, this Gastrodon set, right, is as follows. So, as I said, the only bug type move that it got was the infestation. So, infestation, you really can't do too much with it. So, I had to use toxic and infestation on the set. It was a bulky special defense set. We actually went very nicely against this Nine Tails. It was spamming off those blizzards and I was eating them like a snack, right? Now, the other move I gave was Water Pulse so I could try and get some damage and get a Confusion as well. It doesn't have a very high chance, but I thought it'd be pretty funny having Toxic, you know, Infestation and Confusion all at the same time. The other move I had in this one was Recover as well and I had Leftovers as the item max health and max special defense and also have a bold nature so it was pretty tanky right now anyway we got this nine tiles it's got the poison we got the infestation up and it's not going to really be lasting too long so blizzard is about a three hit ko on my gastron possibly a two hit ko with a critical hit right so all i pretty much had to do here was put down the infestation and the toxic and nine tiles couldn't do too much damage to me at all the only thing it possibly could get around me is if it started using Nasty Plot. But the thing about using Nasty Plot, it actually is going to waste turns and, you know, Toxic and Infestation is really starting to rack up damage, uh, you know, against the run. So, uh, Nine Tiles is pretty much nearly on its last turn here. It's going to kiss my slug and it's going to do no damage at all because Draining Kiss doesn't have very high base power.
out. They were trying to get some health back there, but it's just not going to be enough health to obviously get rid of the toxic damage in the infestation, you know, racking up exponentially. So go for the Water Pulse there. Water Pulse does like two damage, and I don't get a confusion. I was really hoping I could get a confusion in this matchup, and maybe Nine Tails will hit itself, and it will take itself out with a confusion, you know, toxic and infestation. So Nine Tails is on his last little turn there. It would have, I, I, maybe it would have lived still after that confusion hit. I'm not sure. Anyway, so it's going to go for a Blizzard here. I know they're going to go for Blizzard, and I'm going to go for the Recover. Recovering back my Gastron, you know, to a good amount of uh, healthy health, people. So getting some uh, left eyes recovery, and the Night Tiles is going to faint here. And I'm all ready to go for the next Pokemon. Like, this Gastron was pretty good. Like, it's a reasonable set, right? It wasn't too memey, but I couldn't really do too much with Infestation. Like, the most I could possibly do here... I don't know, it would be like uh, trying to boost my special attack in Dynamax or something like that. Now, the next Pokemon here is the Frostmoth, right? Frostmoth is a nice bug and nice stuff. So, I've got my Gastron here. I was thinking in the back of my mind that they probably do have Giga Drain on this set. And they may try and use this to actually set up me. So, before that happens, I thought, okay, let's get Toxic on this thing. At least in the later turns of the battle, I might be able to, you know, take this out with one of my other Pokemon. And if they get too greedy, maybe I'll be able to, you know, take them out by Gastron. Let's just see. I might even be able to get a confusion with Water Pulse still at this point in the time, right? So we've got one Quiver Dance, and now we've got two Quiver Dances. This thing is going to be a very, very big threat. Uh, no Pokemon on my team now will be able to outspeed this. And frankly, no Pokemon on my team are going to be able to live like a, a bug and ice type move. So go for the Water Pulse there. Hoping I can get a confusion. Desperately hoping. And I'm not going to get one. It does like one damage because of the Veil and of course all the Quiver Dances as well, right? And it's not really a, a, you know, a super powerful move really either. So here comes a third Quiver Dance from the Frostmoth there. They are really getting into the Quiver Dances. I know they've got Giga Drain now and I know I'm going to get destroyed in one shot. So I thought they may attack this turn. And just in case they did have Giga Drain, I went for the Recover. I'm actually very bulky on the special side here too. So Frostmoth is actually starting to take a fair bit of damage from the Toxic now. The Veil is gone, and here comes the predictable Giga Drain from Frostmoth. So bye-bye Gastron, but it did do a very good job in taking the Nine Tiles out, and it did, it did set up a Toxic on the Frostmoth too. Uh, the only bad thing is it sort of took advantage of my Gastron and got all those Quiver Dances up. So more Toxic damage on Frostmoth there. It is starting to do a fair bit. So I started to notice how much it's going to do. I was like, you know what? Let's go into Dunsparce. I've got Dunsparce as a bug and a normal type. It's got those little wings on its back. It sort of looks like a bug too. I'm not really sure what sort of bug, but it does have like bug looking tendencies, right? So I thought that would be an interesting Pokemon to put on this uh, team as a bug. Probably not a stronger bug look or bug-like as Farlinx and Drapion, but still I feel it was, it was more of a bug thing, like Gastron, right? So so the uh, set and EVs on this Dunce Bus was as follows. We got Max Health and Max Act. It's got Skitter Smack as its bug type move. I've got Roost, Body Slam, and Ancient Power with the Serene Grace. So I tried to get a boost with the uh, Ancient Power, then uh, obviously use a physical attacking set there. And we got uh, Adamant Nature, sorry, Brave Nature as the ability. Sorry, the uh, the nature there, not the ability. Brave, brave ability, nature people. So we're going to go uh, Citrus Berry as the item. And we're also going to go for the Max Guard here, right? Max Guard is going to stall out this uh, Toxic for one more attempt. Then what surprised me here, right, as the Frostmoth actually went for Dynamax. Like, okay, they're trying to stall out the extra toxic damage, and they're just basically trying to get rid of the rest of my team before it goes down, right? Now, instead of attacking me, they went for Max Guard too, which really surprised me. I actually thought that I'd be able to live, like, one real attack really, really badly because Dunsparce is you know, you've got a fair amount of health and Dynamax and that sort of thing. But they went for Max Guard. It's like, okay, I'm going to go for Max Guard again instead of attacking. So that kind of worked out really, really well there. I believe it would have lived a Max Overgrowth from Frostmoth too. So Frostmoth is going to, on its last legs here, Dunsparce is out of its Dynamax. So pretty much all Dunsparce did was go for Max Guard twice, right? Now Frostmoth is going to be going for a Max Overgrowth here. Since I don't have my Dynamax up anymore, I know that I definitely won't be able to live this. And Dunsparce is going to be going down. But pretty much when you think about it, Gastron and Dunsparce combination did their job right because Frostmoth is definitely going to go down to the toxic damage this turn, even with the, you know, it being a Dynamax and having a little bit of help from the uh, grassy terrain there. So bye-bye, Frostmoth. You are a very, very uh, threatening Pokemon there. Now, we've both got two Pokemon left there, right? And out of the Pokemon left, I had probably one of my better Pokemon left here, which you might be able to guess 
who it's going to be right now. The next fight coming here is Abzal. So, like, okay, we've got uh, three minutes left of the battle, and I've got Flygon. So, Flygon, I always thought, when I first seen it, was a bug and a dragon. So, we got Bug Buzz. It learns Bug Buzz, which is really cool. I'm going to go for that, and it's got the throats for our attach. Abzal gets rinsed. It's going to get absolutely destroyed in one shot there. I do not believe the critical hit even mattered there. This was a Bug Buzz, Boom Burst, working well with Throat Spray, Fire Blast and Dragon Pulse at max speed and max special attack with the Timber Nature. Now, the last Pokemon is L'Oreal, which is the uh, Sin Sino. I know this is probably going to be one of those uh, Skill Link scummy sets. So go for the Dragon Pulse here. Dragon Pulse does a lot of damage, but it does not take it out. Here comes a Triple Axle. I was hoping for a single Axle, but I got hit by a Double Axle instead. Bye bye, Fly God. It's four times super effective. Now, my last Pokemon here to complete the Bug, so the Pseudo Bug type team is going to be Lorantis, right? I always thought Lorantis looked like a bug Pokemon. It's only a grass type, but it looks like a Mantis, right? I really felt this Pokemon fit the mold perfectly for a pseudo bug. So we've got Fury Carter, only on Pinwatch channel, Quick Claw, Super, Super Power, Leech Slife, and Bullet Seed. Here comes the Triple Axel from the Sin Center here. I'm running Max Health, and I'm also running Max Special Defense there. I'm able to lift the triple axel and I'm going to take it out with the uh, super power here. And down goes the Sin Center. But what a close battle there at the end. And Min Set is going to go down. Thank you for the battle, Kamari. And we got two more battles here. But I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the, the picks that I did for this team. I feel they're pretty accurate. Uh, apart, I mean, apart from Gash, I know Gashron's a slug too, before anyone starts typing in the comment section. I know that. Like, like still now, I'm trying to rack my brain for new bug type Pokemon combos. I wonder if there's any others that are actually in the game. Remember, there's some Pokemon that are not in the game that I couldn't use, right? So we got another battle here. This is against Jesperon. We got a, uh, a Lola Meowth going for that fake out, and I'm not actually able to attack it. So I could use my first impression. I was a little bit salty about that. So here comes a Hyper Voice. Does a fair whack of damage to me. I'm going to go for that Mega Horn, and Meowth is going to be having a Focus Sash. Taunty Junior. That's quite a... Uh, Quite a good name. I wonder if it's got top. So here comes another Hyper Voice here. Hyper Voice is doing pretty good damage to me. Now, I thought for a second, I might be able to make use of Reversal here. You'll be able to see why in a second, right? So eating my Leechy Berry, it's going to boost my attack. Going for Reversal, and uh, the Mouth is going to be going down there. I almost did another Mega Horn there, but it wasn't that animation. or sort of like the first soldier's head has like a red horn on it. So it looks, sort of looks like Mega Horn. So the next Pokemon is uh, Leopardus. I wonder if it's going to be Life Up. So go for Endure here. I was expecting some sort of attacking move, maybe a fake out. And it went for Sucker Punch. I was like, okay, that's not too bad. And it's going to fail there. So now it's going to go for a Night Slash. I was like, okay, Night Slash. That may not actually take me out. And it didn't. I live on 69 health there. Getting off the Mega Horn here on a lower amount of health does a lot of damage. And then they've got another Focus Sash. What? I think this might be a Focus Sash team. It might be two team teams because I've seen two Dark type Pokemon. So another uh, Night Sash is going to take out my uh, Phalanx. Nothing much I could do there. But uh, I softened up two of the Pokemon on this team, right? Now we're going to bring in the uh, Dunsparce here. I can go for any move and take this thing out. And Lightpod, instead of uh, going for a Night Sash, is going to hit me with a U-turn. So it's like, okay, U-turn. I wonder what they're going to swap in here. So the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be the Alola Persian, right? So they've got like a mono dark type team going here, right? I wonder if this is going to focus us. So go for Ancient Power. It's not really going to do too much. And now they're going to go for a Screech dropping my defense. I'm like, hmm, did I Throat Spray in this set? Like... What's going on here, right? So my defense gets dropped harshly, but no throat spray. So like, okay, so go for the skitter smack there. Smacking that uh, Persian, you know what I'm saying? And it drops its uh, special attack there, right? Nearly said someone else there, right? So here comes a thief Persian, right? It does a lot of damage. It actually crits me. And guess what? It steals my citrus berry as well. So go for the body slam here. i got to get some form of damage on this thing. I do get the paralyzed with the serene grace, which is really nice. However, Persian is going to be able to eat that berry, right? and get all of its health back. Well, all the health I did to it with the body stand, right? So here comes Facade. Oh, oh, that was really lucky, that Facade, because that was actually powered up by the Thunder Wave. So bye-bye, Dunspass. I guess it's a bit unlucky there, you know, getting critted, then they had uh, got through the Paralyzed and had Facade. So go for the mighty Pin Missile on the Drapion here, hoping for a flinch. I really need to get that Pin Missile flinch. I got to redeem myself from the first battle, right? So go for all their Pin Missiles every day of the week, right? And I get a lot of hits. I actually quite like the animation of Pin Missile. So I get four hits there, pretty good. 
Pretty good. So here comes the facade on my Drapion. Drapion's got some pretty nice defense there, so it doesn't do too much damage to it, right? Now we're going to go for another pin missile, and Miss Taunton is going to be going down here. So bye-bye, Persian. I might be able to get a Drapion pin missile mini sweep here, right? Hopefully, hopefully. Now the next Pokemon here we got is Gorgia. So they, oh, well, there goes there goes the uh, Mono Dark type team, right? So I'm going to go for the Cross Poison. They're hoping for a, uh, you know, a critical hit there. It does, like, nothing. I'm like, damn, that did nothing at all. So I do get a Poison which is kind of nice and the Gorgies is going to be going for a trick or treat so it's going to be adding that ghost typing to my Drapion so what I'm now guys I'm now bug poison and I'm ghost and wait wait I'm also dark too so four types wow wow so here comes the Ice Fang hoping for a crit there it's not really going to happen on the Gorgies Gorgies got some pretty good bulk to it too so here comes another berry and it's going to be a citrus berry which kind of sucks there so I need to do some more damage to this thing now the Gorgies is going to go for a fan of force here and it's going to disappear so they're obviously trying to get some big damage to me after giving me that ghost all right so I'm going to be swapping out here with the Drapion, and I'm going to be going back into my Lorantis here, right? Now, Lorantis should be able to take this hit reasonably well, and I might be able to get some Fury Cutters going there. So, I'm going to get spanked in my green and yellow pajamas there. I can probably still take, like, two more hits there, unless I get critical hit. So, some more toxic damage. The Gorgix is going to go for the Trick or Treat now. So, obviously, adding that Ghost typing to me as well. So, now, I'm Ghost, I'm, I'm, I'm Bug, and I'm Grass all at the same time, right? So, go for that uh, Fury Cutter there. Fury Cutter, obviously, Obviously, it's not going to do too much damage, right? But if I can get as many Fury Cutters up here as possible, I might be able to sweep through some of this team, right? Because there's a lot of Dark Types remaining. So now go for another Fury Cutter here. Fury Cutter is starting to rack up here. Now, the thing is, this Gorgas does have Pain Split, too. So every time I attack her, right, it keeps getting its health back and dropping mine. The only bad thing about that for my opponent is Fury Cutter is actually exponentially getting more powerful. So the Pum Welty is going to be going down there. I'm not sure what that nickname even meant there. It might have been like another language of uh, Gorgies, right? Now, the next Pokemon here is the Thiefel. And I actually get a Quick Claw activation on Fury Cutter, which is absolutely amazing, right? This hits very hard, and it just rinses it in one shot. There's nothing they could have done there at all. So bye-bye, Thiefel. A very lucky Quick Claw activation. Next Pokemon here is the Lipard. We really know this has got Sucker Punch, right? So, I might be able to live this one. Let's see. So here comes the Sucker Punch, and Lipard is going to take me out there because of that ghost typing. It's like, man, that trick or treat Gorgas that got me. There wasn't really much point swapping out there. I was quite a slow Pokemon, and it pretty much did its job. So Lipard's going to go for a Torment here, so I can't use Pin Missile. Man. I wish I could use Pin Missile. So go for that Pin Missile there, and Lipart is going to be going down. So I'm barred from using Pin Missile again until the next turn. Like, Torment's a cool move. You just don't really see it all that often. Now, the next Pokemon we have here is another Abzal. So they're okay. Uh, let's go for a Cross Poison deal. I'll see if I can do some decent damage. And I get some nice damage, and I get another Poison. So, like, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that result. Now, the uh, Abzal's going to go for a Night Slash here. Night Slash is not going to do too much. I'm guessing they don't have any other moves to hit me with, right? Uh, that's why they went for that. So, I was, I was thinking maybe close combat and play rough, something like that. Now, they're going to go for a Dynamax or an Abzal. Obviously, they need to get some, uh, you know, some obviously some really strong moves here. I actually went for a Pit Missile to take out the Abzal, you know, with my Drapion. And I still have two other Pokemon here in the the back too if pin missile isn't enough to take out the Absol. I have poisoned it too so you know Absol is not long for this world people so now what we're gonna do right is we're gonna go for the pin missile I've got the jolly nature too so I'm actually outspeeding a fair few things so going for the pin missile it lands uh, two times there only on the Absol, which is kind of which sucks because now the Absol can go for a max airstream here and that is gonna be enough to take out my uh, my drapey on there so I've got another two Pokemon here, but this does have a big attack stat. And if it does crit me, it's going to do a lot of damage. So I'm thinking they're running like a, a super luck Abzal. So here comes the toxic damage, and the Abzal just lives there just due to the Dynamax. Next Pokemon is my uh, Flygon here. And what I can do, right, I can attack this with any move. It does outspeed me and go for the max darkness, and Flygon gets destroyed in one shot there with a critical hit. I knew it was going to be a critical hit, so bye-bye Flygon. However, Abzol is on its last little bit of health there, and it is going to faint in Dynamax. And I've still got one more Pokemon running, and that, my friends, is the second battle. Abzol is their last mod. 
Now, the third and final battle, I believe this one was on my Twitch stream. I think she... Actually, I think that was on my Twitch stream as well. Now, this one was against Alexis. Actually, I'm not sure if this was... A, this actually could have been a random battle. This was an interesting uh, battle. So, some interesting Pokemon got used here. Now, the first Pokemon here is uh, Eevee. It's like, okay, what are they going to do with Eevee? Adaptability Eevee. Are they going to go for the uh, the Pimp Knight Swift strategy? So, firstly, I'm going to make a nice impression. Go for first impression. It does over half health. Here comes a Covert. I'm like, oh, they're going to try and steal my item. But uh, they didn't. Obviously, they had an item themselves, right? So, it didn't work. Or they just had like a usage move. as like a normal usage move there. Regardless, the Eevee is going to go down. I'm not sure what they're trying to do with that set. Now, the next Pokemon here is the Seal Valley Fighting. All I could do is go for the Mega Horn. It was pretty much my best bet to go for because I wanted to see if I could get this reversal strategy going. So here comes the multi attack. Does pretty good damage there. Almost takes me out. The Leechy Berry is going to come into effect here. So, like, okay, this is really good. What I can do, right, is I can go for Endure and then I can go for Reversal. A reversal will be at full base power and then I might be able to sweep through the rest of this team, right? Sylvalli is a fairly fast Pokemon, so I was a little bit worried it might be able to outspeed me. But I was like, I might as well go for it, right? So outspeeding and a Reversal is going to hit very hard there. Sylvalli's done. Nothing it could have done at all. So taking two Pokemon out with Phalanx is a pretty good effort so far. Next Pokemon is the Alola Raichu. So Reversal should steal a lot here. Um, I didn't get the chance though because Alola Raichu is going to outspeed me. And it's going to take me out with a spark. I was like, okay. it's Maybe it's a physical Raichu, right? Trying to spark up, you know, the, the, the relationship with my Dunsparce here, right? So I could go for the Body Slam. It'll do a lot of damage. Here comes the Spark. Does a pretty good amount of damage here. And it paralyzed me. I was like, okay, that's lucky. They got to paralyze on Spike. Next move is Psychic. I'm like, oh, it's a mix set. So the Psychic obviously hits me. It hits me around the same as the Spark. Maybe they're running something like, I don't know, like Max Attack and Max Special Attacks, like some wacky set. Regardless, I get the uh, Citrus Berry. I'm going to go, wait, look at the you see that? Like, Raichu literally turned around for a spanking only up in my channel. So go for the, <laughs> go for the, um, not the fell sting, the Skitter Smack, and they're going to go for another Spark there. I'm going to go for a, look at this, it's, it's literally, it's literally turning around, waiting for it. What the, I only just noticed that. Oh, man. Welcome to Fibbite's family-friendly Pokemon battles. Now, uh, Raichu's down there to get us, mate. The next Pokemon is the Slowbro, right? I tried to get as much damage on the Slowbro as possible. It's very, very bulky. So I get a Paralyze, which is really good. Uh, it's got a Rocky Helmet as the item. Now, the move they're going to use is a Trick Room. So Slowbro is really good under Trick Room. Uh, it can go first, and it might even have Quick Draw, too. So it's going to be going first a lot of the time, right? Now, here comes the Side Shell Arm. That's going to take up a Dunsparce. Uh, bye bye Dunsparce. So Dunsparce did pretty good there. Got rid of the uh, Raichu and did a little bit of damage to the slow, but revealed some of the set too. Uh, we're going to go to Flygon here. I thought this would be a good opportunity to go for a Boom Burst to activate Throat Spray and then maybe take it up. So Psychic is a three hit KO, which is good. I can go for Boom Burst here. Uh, Boom Burst animation looks so good. Uh, slow Bro actually tanks that very, very well, right? So got plus one in special attack. The next Boom Burst will take it out. However, the slow Bro is going to be going for a Slack Off. So like, okay. They're stalling here. I mean, the only bad thing about that for them is that the Trick Rope is going to wear off very soon. So I can go first. And, you know, Boom Burst is doing a lot of damage. It's almost a two here, KO. So here comes the Psychic on my Flygon. It does not take it out. And now I can go for a Dragon Pulse and take out the Slowbro. So bye-bye, Slowbro. I, I don't know. I think they could have been running Regenerator on that one. So maybe they just got unlucky with the Quick Draw, right? So the, tr uh, the Trick Room has run out. The next Pokemon here is the Situai. So, okay, I can go for Fire Blast here. Fire Blast is going to land. I'm going to outspeed them. And they get melted in one shot. So they've only got one more Pokemon left here. And it's going to be a Dynamax for sure. Now, that Critical Hit did not matter. Um, no way. Unless they're running like a super bulky, I don't know, special defensive Situai. Uh, something like that. So uh, last comes out the uh, is the Waylord there. Bug Buzz does very good damage there since um, it's a Bug and Dragon, all right? And here comes the Water Spout. Looks amazing. And Waylord is going to take me out. I love that. I like that animation. And then I had the little rainbow there. That's some, that's some really good attention to detail, you know? You see that a bit on some of them. Like, some moves are all right. But then you see moves like that, which have, you know, very good attention to detail. I like that. Anyway, so we've got the uh, Dynamax Waylord here. It's going to have just... It's just going to be a, a big beefcake in health, right? Now, I do have my Drapion here. Now, Drapion, I could actually go for Sword Dance here and end them. So, I decide to go for Sword Dance, and then I can just attack them with any one of my moves, pretty much, yeah. 
Uh, the thing about this is Stevie the Waylord is going to be very, very bulky. So it's kind of doubtful whether I'm going to be able to take this out unless I Dynamax. Regardless, let's get that plus two up and attack and let's make sure we can take out the Waylord right. Now, Waylord's going to be going for a max air shred now. I can assume that's coming off bounce. And it does a lot of damage to me. I'm like, okay, I think this might outspeed me. They get a critical hit too. So like, okay, if I do not Dynamax here, I believe the Waylord will be able to possibly take me out. And then I've only got two more Pokemon left. So let's go for the Dynamax Drapion. I've got plus two in attack. I should do some very, very good damage to them as well, right? Dynamax Drapion looks really, really cool too. It felt like only yesterday when I did this Scarupi Evolution team. Like, I've been using Drapion a lot, right? Uh, so going for that Max Flutterby coming off, of course, my Pin Missile. That's actually going to drop uh, the special attack of the Waylord too. So if they tried that Water-type Max Geyser, it's not going to do as much, right? So the Waylord is going to be going for yet another Max Airstream here. Uh, that is not going to take me out, which is fine. It's coming off. It's, it, its attack isn't really that great. And, you know... Um, my defense is really, really good, right? So now the Waylord is going to be able to outspeed me. I did drop their special attack, but I don't have a lot of health left. So Waylord is actually able to take out my Drapion there. It's like, man, that sucks. So bye-bye Drapion and bye-bye Dynamax for, for both of us, right? I still have one more Pokemon left, and Waylord doesn't really have a lot of health back um, at all. I know it's got Water Spout, but man, Water Spout's not going to do much damage. It's got, it's got Bounce. It doesn't have a lot of options, right? So going into the Lorantz here, I've got Bullet Seed. I may as well go for that and just finish it off. I may even get a Quick Claw too uh, on this. So here comes the Bounce. I knew they would try and go for the Bounce. Imagine being Grass and Bug at the same time. That would have been four times super effective. Wait, it is four times, all right? This is the Bug and Grass Pokemon. Bounce is going to miss on my Lorantz. I could go for a Bullet Seed here, and that is going to be way too much for the Wild Lord. And it's going to be going down into Hits. I hope you enjoyed my pseudo bug Pokemon team. I felt I picked pretty good Pokemon under the circumstances of the cut Pokedex and things like that. I'll be back tomorrow for another video. It might be a Pokemon sweep, might be a theme team. All right, people. Peace out.